Thank you for stopping by our channel where we focus on creating uh, the happiest and healthiest version of yourself so that you can achieve your dreams. Um, today in our short video, I want to talk to you about the second principle of success, which Napoleon Hill discussed in his book, Think and Grow Rich. Um, the book Think and Grow Rich was written in 1937 uh, after the Great Depression and soon became one of the bestsellers. And till this day, millions of people follow this book as one of the best guides for achieving success and happiness. So in the book Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill discusses 13 principles of success. The first principle, which is desire, I have covered in a previous video, uh, which I will uh, share a link to in the description. Um, today, I want to focus on the second principle of success, which Napoleon Hill discussed in his book. Um, the second principle to success, according to him, is faith. So what is faith? Because we all talk about it, we all, um, think about it, we all know that it is an important factor in our life. Um, so I want to find out what faith is. So I looked up the definition of faith according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary and it is defined. Faith is defined as a firm belief in something for which there's no proof, complete trust, something that is believed, especially with strong conviction. So remember, um, also another thing that says that it further states that all faith means without question. So what I would like to ask for you today, do you have faith of faith, desire of faith? Meaning, do you have desire without question? Is your desire without question? Do you truly believe that your desire will come true? Because for most of us, um, including myself, sometimes my desires are not completely of faith. And what this means is that, you know, we have maybe wavering faith, maybe we have weak faith. So um, how do we strengthen our faith so that our desires can come true? There are some very simple techniques for that, uh, because remember that faith is actually a state of mind that can be modified. And how do you modify the state of mind uh, is by accessing your subconscious mind. So you can access your subconscious mind uh, by your thoughts and feelings and, and how you, um, your internal dialogue, uh, so to speak. And in order to change your internal dialogue and, and your programming, um, you can do this by uh, following certain affirmations, uh, by visualizations, just something that's going to permanently, almost permanently, alter your programming. Uh, so one of the greatest things to do that is reading affirmations, uh, repeating affirmations in your head, um, listening to tapes with affirmations. Um, I have done that and I, I think it totally has changed uh, how I think and how I feel. Um, when you think about affirmations, they are really a form of self-hypnosis because you are hypnotizing yourself into believing some new truths about yourself or about your life. So what I did, I'm going to put a link um, to the tape that I've created. It's a 10 hour tape with affirmations, but truthfully, you don't really even need to listen to my tape. There's so many out there. Um, that are really good, just long affirmations. What what I do for myself, I, I put it on when I fall asleep and you can listen to them while you sleep. Uh, you can listen to those tapes while you do things and run about your day, uh, run errands, do certain tasks. It's going to really help you with how you program yourself and on what you truly believe. So. Remember, visualizations and affirmations will help you improve your faith. As Napoleon Hill stated, faith is the second most important principle in achieving your dreams. So I hope that you will find this video helpful. 
Um, I hope it helped you in some way. And if it does, please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, I will create that video about the third principle of success and post it here uh, shortly. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.